And welcome back to our humble uh, abode. I have with me Kill2, and we have Gypsy Man versus Pizza. What do you think? Uh, again, we have a couple interesting sets of setups here. The um, Pizza team has brought a, a new variation on kind of a standard Minmatar core with four Cyclones, two Slipners, Scimitar. They've, just, they've uh, got a lot of Frig-based DCM, which is kind of different. And then Gypsy Man has done something completely new. Triple Proteus, double Curse, Oneros with three Ishkers, and... Ravy would be furious that they've only brought nine ships in a 12-ship format. First time we've seen that today. So Yeah, like Riley Curry said, the not having the max amount of ships, especially against a ECM-type team, because well, um, they do have the two Kitsunes and two Griffins, so I mean they're going to have less ships to spread those jams across. Um, but this is a definitely an odd setup, an elf box setup from Gypsy Band with the Proteuses and Curses. Uh, Proteuses have huge armor tank setups, or sets, and then you have the Ishkurs, which have the drones, uh, most likely packing ECM drones, I would say. Uh, we are underway now, and for ranges, most of the uh, pizza team was there at zero on the beacon, or at least half the team. The Gypsy Band team was kind of back at at least 30k. Um, and it looks like the Proteuses aren't really making uh, a run immediately towards the middle of the arena, which is sort of surprising to me. They're actually moving um, kind of, well, they're basically just wow. sitting, which sort of surprises me. I mean, they should be blaster Proteuses moving in really quick. And mm -hmm. we already lost one Griffin, which is really good news for Gypsy Band, actually. Like you said, because they brought less ships, that's kind of the best thing Pizza could hope for, less total ships to jam. Yep, and these uh, these Proteuses actually have the drone uh, augmentation on them, uh, the dr drone subsystem. You're seeing uh, ah. all the jams being applied across the Proteuses while the Ishkers are tracking, disrupting the Sleptners. Um, and it looks like... They're doing enough disruption to these Slepners that they're able to keep a lot of DPS off this Ishker, um, as you see some jams being switched to the Ishkers to get those tracking disruptors off. So, I mean, I think the Ishkers are definitely doing a great job right now. Yeah, this this is a really interesting match. They, they're trying to bring down a Cyclone now, but you can see uh, the Scimitar is having a pretty easy time keeping him uh, topped off at full shields. He may have an ASB as well. I'm going to zoom in and look for that right now. I think he does. Mm -hmm. I think I did see a graphic. But they need to, they need to get the Scimitar's reps turned off. Um, so that they can bring that Claymore down. Or, I mean, Cyclone. Yeah. Well, we were we were talking about the uh, the Proteuses and ECM and all that, but with the Proteuses being drone uh, focused on their mm -hmm. drones, the, the j jams aren't going to be as important. I mean, they're leaving these Iskers unjammed, which have the, all the the utility that they're you're seeing on the field right now. I mean, you got webs being spread, you got newts, uh, tracking disruptors. So, I mean, you're getting a lot of utility as this Kitsune dies. So you're down two ki two Griffins and a Kitsune so far on the pizza, uh, progressive pizza time diplomacy side. And more DPS maybe coming online for Gypsy Band uh, because that Cyclone now is really starting to hurt. That ASB might have run out of charges as well. I'm not sure I believe you about the drone uh, uh, subsystem because I don't see any drones fielded for, let me see, be the Gypsy Band drones. I'm trying to find drones, whether it's sentry drones or heavy drones or what, and I don't see any drones bigger than Valkyries on the field, actually. Some ECM drones, some light drones. but Yeah, we get ECM drones and light drones. I believe they all dropped ECM drones at the start here. Because um, it looks like they're going with a full drone-based setup, though, with the two curses, which uh, primary DPS is drones, and then you have the Ishkurs, which are also drones. So, and I believe the flat nose on the Proteus is the uh, subsystem for drones. Wow, look at that little ball of, like, just straight punch fighting right there. That's something <laughs> we haven't seen a whole lot of today. Teams generally running around, trying to choose their battles. Uh, the second Kitsune about to drop for a uh, pizza team and a Cyclone. Well, we lost one Cyclone already. Second right. Cyclone about to go into armor. Um, I feel like with the ECM out of the way, the Proteus' damage is just ramping up, making sure all of them have locks all the time, and with that uh, out of the way, they're able to really, really uh, put a lot of pressure on the pizza team. But that first Proteus is not doing so well right now either. No, and we are seeing some, uh, it looks like the Neris is jammed, so we're not getting any reps to that Proteus. They do have huge buffer tanks, so if that Neris ever loses the jam on it, it should be able to uh, get, get reps on this Proteus, be it not in structure. Um, you're also seeing smart bombs coming from the uh, s the cyclone, I believe, uh, that is on top of uh, on top of WS26. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they are killing their own drones, but they're also clearing a lot of the DPS off the field from these Iskers and uh, and all these other drone ships. And that Oneros just got his lock back. You were right; he was not uh, applying reps a minute ago, but now the reps look to be active again. So that Proteus could stabilize. Uh, that second cyclone went down, and the third cyclone taking a lot of damage. He's going into armor. Mm -hmm. This is pretty awesome. This is a really cool setup from Gypsy Band. Obviously, the curses are just a nightmare for this pizza team. Yeah, I, I like I like this setup because they are they are able to withstand the ECM somewhat due to the auto aggression from drones. So I mean, they they can jam the reps, but they have such awesome <laughs> EHP on the Proteuses that uh, that the reps have time to catch up if the if they lose a, a jam on the Neros. 
And the last Cyclone going into deep armor now. Would be structure soon. S the Scimitar is taking some damage as well. Um, on that pizza team, it looks like Gypsy Band really in control at this point. This is really close. As at any time when there's a lot of E-War presence, uh, it, it, it kind of is in limbo for a while until you see what happens with the E-War. And there goes that last Cyclone. So now just yeah. two Slipners and a Scimitar really left for... Uh, pizza along with that Griffin versus the entire Gypsy Band team. So only fielding nine ships, but all nine are probably going to make it to the end of this match, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that uh, that Proteus did, uh, was a pretty close call. That uh, they lost lock on the Anero or jam on the Anero was at the perfect time, or else I think they might have lost that Proteus. And I still don't believe you about the drone sub, or if if oh. it's there, they're using it funny because I just don't see it's only light drone. I mean, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. That's actually something that's a really good draw right. about drone ships. Me and mm -hmm. you, neither of us like drone ships. Right, I, I don't like drone ships because it's hard to apply the damage. But mm -hmm. one really nice thing about drone ships is that ECM does not disable your damage right. output, and that that could be completely, uh, you know, it could be very important here. Except that I really don't see anything except warriors coming from Gypsy Band. So yeah, like I said, I'm I'm pretty sure pretty sure that <laughs> that is the drone the drone module, but I. I'm not 100% sure that is the uh, subsystem for uh, the uh, Proteus. I don't fly. I, I, I'm more of a Tengu guy than the Proteus guy, so. Uh, yeah. Slipner in armor now for Pizza. He's repping. Probably got an ASB. It looked to me like the Cyclones had ASBs, but that Proteus on the Gypsy Band team pulling back pretty easily now. No E War to keep those Proteuses from shooting, and no um, mm -hmm. support really for that Slipner. The Scimitars had Newts on him for quite a while. Those could just be from. Oh no, they're probably from the Curse. That's another amazing thing about Curses. Oh. So good at uh, putting pressure on logistics, making it hard for them to rep, and also turning off hardeners on the Slipner, stuff like that. I believe so far today that all these Slipner Cyclone setups uh, we've seen haven't done that well. You know, you're right. They really haven't done as well. We see so much Minotaur. People are asking about that. Minotaur is really solid. It projects damage really well. Right. has lots of extra slots. is not as vulnerable to cap war because mm -hmm. it doesn't need it for its guns. There's so many things going for it. But you're right. It's uh, not been like the thing to do right. to win. There's been plenty of other things that are doing really, really well so far. Well, I think last match I said this, but like a lot of these setups that are out of the box unique that we are seeing so far have been doing really well compared to the standard uh, Sleipner mm -hmm. Cyclone setups we saw in the six mans. Yep. So, I mean, maybe it's just a change of meta or or just the way the... Um, or they're with the 12 people and more 100 points that they're able to better counter the rush teams. Yeah, maybe that maybe that's it. The mm -hmm. the kind of increased presence of support combined with extra E war means that it's harder for rush teams to, mm -hmm. to get the job done. But I don't know. I, I, I think that, that is really fascinating that they haven't right. done as well. Yeah, we're down to the last scimitar for percussive piece of time diplomacy. Very strong showing from Gypsy Band. Um and like myself and Kill Two aren't drone fans, but they it's working for them now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh and you know, curses again, so strong. I feel like we've seen a lot of, um, you know, we haven't seen a lot of Mar in the tournament, but mm -hmm. so far today, between the Balgorns and the Curses we've seen fielded, uh, it's a pretty strong argument for Newts mm -hmm. and tracking disruptors as well. Well, so far in the tournament, we've seen almost, I'd probably say, close to 90% uh, turret ships. So, I mean, yeah, the Curse, right. it's a safe the curse bet with tracking right, disruptors. The tracking yeah. disruptor bonus, bonus from the Curse, as well as the neutralizing bonus. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to, with Vindicators, you're going to cap out their blasters. We got to stop, Laz. We got to stop. The match ended. But I want to talk more. See you guys in a minute. <laughs>